what do you think just about how your defense was able to kind of dig deep there in the fourth quarter and to get that stop? Uh, it was a hard game, hard fight game, physical game. Uh, you know, when we need to make the plays, uh, you know, our guys stepped up, um, you know, so there's some things we need to clean up. Obviously, the, 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 the rushing yardage, it's not what I'm looking for, but that's something that we could be able to fix. And then Hunter Eccles in his uh, strip sack there and get that takeaway in the red zone this time. Yeah. Yeah, it was a big time play, man. You know, we were backed up. We went for it. We didn't get it. Our guys never, ever whine about anything. They just went out there, next play mentality, and, and made the play when we needed it. Rushing yards, a little bit of a concern, although Mark Curtis seems to me just moving forward, facing other teams that have the ball. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a lot easier <laughs> to prepare for. Uh, it was a difficult team to prepare for. They do a great job with shifting and, you know, motioning, just trying to, you know, mess with your eyes and our guys, you know, it's a new thing they had to fix. I mean, they had to face, you know, so, um, but in the end, we got the win and that's all that matters. How would, how would you describe what preparing is like the last two weeks? The air raid one week and then that offense? Oh, it, it keeps you up at night, you know what I mean? Going from one thing to another and then trying to have a different packages to try to get guys in there that could help us out. And then when you don't have the numbers of guys that are available, it makes it difficult too. So, you know, um, it was, it's been tough the last two weeks. It's going to be tough this week too. Yeah, I see acknowledging that it is tough, but is it kind of nice to face it for and for from normal? Uh, I wouldn't say normal. I mean, they, they still got 12 personnel, 13 personnel. You know, when you look at our tape, you, you know, I've been in offensive rooms, you know, scheming for teams. They're going to find something that works, and that's what they're going to, you know, try to get ready for. So we got to be ready for everything this week. Can you talk about how your team adjusted during the half and during the game? Jed mentioned you guys threw in some zone uh, later in the second half. Clearly reacting to the adjustments. Yeah, well, we were just trying to find different ways to help our guys. Uh, you know, we play man, and then, you know, a couple of times they were losing their eyes because it's so difficult to play off the ball and man on the guy on the line of scrimmage. So we went to the zone to try to help out. I thought he did a great job for for first time in a setting like that, and you know, and I mean, it was it's a difficult thing to get ready for. You know, it kind of remind me of Stanford when you get ready for Stanford with their big personnel. You know, so for that kid that did what he did, uh, I was proud of him. What specifically did he show you in the previous weeks that allowed him to get that start? Well, he's starting to understand the defense, and he's a physical. He, he knows how to get to the ball. He makes plays, you know, so we had to use him. Did he play Will or Sam? He was our Will backer. Our base, yeah, base defense, we have four down, three linebackers, and, you know, four DBs. Is he going to continue to start, or are you going to see our uh, It all depends on the package we have. We have about four packages. He, he's one of them in, the, in our base defense. Right, it, it didn't end up uh, affecting things in the grand scheme, but the uh, first drive, there was another bad snap that just kind of skidded along the ground. Are, do you have any concerns about what um, Josh is doing with, with his snaps, or is that just like a one-off? Uh, yeah, we can't do that anymore. So uh, and Josh is all over it, and he's very mindful of it. Um, and I think it's just a lack of concentration uh, on that instance right there. Um, it's, yeah, we just can't do that anymore. Can you talk about the conversation after that? Because after that, it didn't seem like there were any more I mean, <clears throat> whenever it happens, he knows. It's not like there's, it's very obvious what went wrong. And so there's not a lot of coaching. They just kind of look at him and he stops. Brandon, we, we just got to talk to Tanner um, with Blackman. How would you describe sort of his ascent? I mean, he comes into this situation where there's pretty much an established starter. There's a four-starter group coming in, yet he's getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we saw some flashes in spring. He couldn't do much uh, physically because he was doing some. Uh, he was working his rehab, um, but it was. We had an idea pretty early on that the kid has some special talents and some traits. Um, and he's got a great mind for the sport too, so it's it comes pretty naturally to him. Um, he's a good athlete, um, and he wants to learn. Great teammate, you know, just a, a kid that the guys love to play for um, and play with. So um, it, it's not really shocking. We kind of always, you know, we've kind of always mentioned when we talked about the tight ends, so because we knew he had something special to him. What was the significance of ending that losing streak last year, just for the, for the good of the program? I guess. 
You're talking about last year, uh, yeah, yeah, Cal 20, 2021? Yeah. Um, uh, 2022, brother, we're moving forward. I mean, <laughs> it's been a long time ago, man. We're not asking you about the streaks anymore. You just did, <laughs> I don't even know about it. So, no, I, yeah, that was, all I remember, it was, uh, it was just a relief, is all, all I could really, if I could narrow it down into one term, it was a relief. But then, that's, we don't even talk about that anymore. We, we blinked the film from last year, um, and the cool thing is, is that you see, uh, to not focus on it, one, we don't focus on the game at all, but um, to see the development of some of our players, uh, Mike Wiley looks like a completely different football player from last year, so that's just a great testament to the kid, um, his buy-in to the program, uh, the, the weight room, the strength training program, nutrition, the whole thing, it looks like a totally different ball player, which is really cool. So. Um, that we will pull from that. Brendan, after looking at the film, can you talk about the adjustments that uh, Jaden made, Mississippi State versus North Dakota State? <clears throat> uh, yeah, he, I think he just showed his confidence in, uh, in pulling the ball down and, and taking off with it. Um, you know, most of those r runs he took uh, weren't designed. They're, you know, they're either broken plays or their pocket opens up and it's just open. And um, he really showed his confidence, uh, you know, being a ball carrier. So that was cool to see. Speaking of Wiley, Gave him the ball a couple times there on the last drive to ice the game. Mm -hmm. um, the last play of his 33 nine yard game. Um, what did you like about the way the offensive line and Michael handled that play? What did you see? Yeah, and I know this guy over here likes uh, to not have to go back on the field. We didn't want to put the defense back on the field. Those guys had fought their tails off all game. And I went back and watched the film. Usually I don't do that, um, but I just wanted to kind of pay homage to the defense and the job that they had to deal with, um, which is ridiculous because you don't see that in the Pac-12 very often. Um, old school Stanford. Uh, but the uh, to keep the O-line and the running game alive on third down right there is a testament to those guys, what they, the work they put in, the development that they've had, um, and to trust that you know it's third and three, they're going to try to stop the run, and we're going to run the ball, and we're able to convert and, and you know take some knees, which is a long time since we've run that play. So we like that the victory formation. John, what, what have you seen um, from Cal's uh, quarterback? Um, he's he's consistent. He's just, he's a system guy. You know, drop back. It looks like he understands the offense. You know, so he does a good job of operating the, the offense. Does his brother have any insight on the way to neutralize him? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to call him today. <laughs> is, Will, is Will supposed to recuse himself this week? Or or is he That's a great word. That's a fantastic word right there. <laughs> Usually you don't get those in football press conferences. Recruiting, uh, rec I can't even say it. Um, easy for you to say. The uh, No, it was fun, uh, you know, talking plumber football uh, this past weekend because he was going down there trying to win the game and, and uh, Will was, you know, we're just kind of watching it happen. Was, and, uh, and they had a great battle right to the end with those guys. Sure. So obviously you're not going to see another offense like that one, at least in the Pac-12. Is there something you can learn from that game or something you can show the guys that is applicable to uh, Yeah, when I become a head coach, I would like to hire that guy. That's, that's it. <laughs> That's a tough <laughs> offense, man. You know, you have a couple of days to prepare for. You know, you hope you learn from it, you know. And uh, we, we put in a system that I think we could benefit from when we play teams. You know, you still, the season's still young. I mean, Stanford played with four tight ends, so I might see it again this week. Uh, for both of you, you guys have posted the Pac-12 for a long time. What's the most memorable game uh, you guys played in Berkeley? It was, uh, ooh, I was at Washington, and it was, I believe we drove down with Jake Locker. I don't remember the year, but we had a uh, fourth down uh, ball on the on the one. We were down by three. We had a choice to kick it or go for it. And Sark just said, "Hey, we're going for it." And that was the game. And I think we broke a, a losing streak by Washington. That was the game. It was the last game in that stadium, the old stadium. Hmm. Um, they had they always had good battles up there. Uh, the one that sticks out, I think it was like a, I don't feel like it was a Saturday night game. I feel like it was an off night. Um, I think Fred Davis was playing tight end and he went nuts uh, that game. That was a fun one. Um, I remember the first one I played there, but I don't want to talk about that game. What have you seen from Cal's defense so 
Uh, they're, it's, they're the, it's their system, and they're tough and physical, and, and you know, they had to, they played against a, uh, a heavy run uh, attack of Notre Dame, um, and they took on the challenge, and, and, you know, for all the runs that they had to deal with, they, they were tough the whole time, fit in the gaps, uh, tough players, so it'll be a great challenge for us this week. What, where would you say that your Lions have their uh, blocks and run the um, that's a great question. Uh, we've been balanced, which is all I could ever ask for. Um, there's some things I'd like to clean up in the run game, things we want to clean up in the pass game. We didn't have to give up a sack. That was, it was really bad. I, um, I didn't give them enough tools to get that done fast enough. They could have picked that up easy. Um, <clears throat> But uh, in the I, we need to be better in the run game. I feel like we need to make more improvement in the run game. Let's say that, um, and I think we can do that uh, this week. Um, we've really f faced a different foe this week than the previous two. There's a lot of movement in the first two weeks, and these guys are um, they're going to line up and fit their gaps really well. So um, we got to attack that. So uh, I'm excited to see if we can get it done. When training camp started, Jordan Coleman was uh, kind of wasn't working with the first or second team. It didn't seem like but now. You guys are getting, you know, carries an important situation. What did he do to get back into the graces? He, he, um, it, he was never in our bad graces. Um, it was it was just a, a numbers situation. We were trying to get um, 32, the new kid, uh, DJ, get him going, see what he could do, um, get him in shape and all that. So, uh, But 24 just stayed consistent is really what it is. He's just been the same guy day after day. Um, He's really done a good job of uh, learning his pass protections, which is crucial, especially for young guys in whatever league you're playing, and knowing how to pick up the pressures, pick up the blitzes, and he's been a willing blocker, which is it's, uh, it's rare for a freshman to want to come in and, and pass pro um, as a running back, as well as being a great runner and being a great uh, receiver out of the backfield. So we're really excited about where he's at. Johnny, are you pleased with the amount of rotating you've been able to do? Would you like to do more? Yeah, I'm always looking to get, you know, fresh bodies in there when they're available, you know. So, most definitely, uh, I would like to do more. John, can you go back to fourth quarter? Jet talked about it yesterday. You had gathered the defense before the big stop. You said Ricky and Chuck had some things to say. Can you recall? Yeah, it was we needed a stop, and we said, hey, well, no matter what happened, this is the most important stop, and we got to get it done. So, and the, and the kids were, you know, they play up to it. And it was a big stop for us. It was the last drive. What did you learn about your team in that moment? <clears throat> that they're fighters. They compete. And they, um, and they love each other. I mean, that's the one thing that I'm taking from these kids is how much they care for one another. You know what I mean? Even when things were down, they never complained. You know, and, and that's, you know, credit to the staff to always coach. You know, you're not out there watching the game. You're coaching the game until it ends. You know, and it, credit to them, man, because they, they were coaching their butt off even when things weren't going right. We tried to put them in a situation to be successful. When do you expect Tia to be back in the mix this week, and what are plans for the decision? Uh, we'll see if he, this week, hopefully, we, you know, we can have him this week. Brennan, uh, the defense got called for a couple of those low blocks outside the tackle blocks. Um, this past game hasn't happened, I think, to the offense yet, but how do you coach to prevent that? Um, a little bit. Most of the time, we're staying up. Uh, we're staying up anyway. Um, we're not using the, utilizing the cut block as much as um, we have in the past. Um, but uh, it's yeah, it's just understanding. Uh, you just got to protect yourself from it. And part of the reason, um, and it's it's a tough situation for uh, for the defense because there the play that we got called for. You know, if you if you go back and watch it, which I was lucky enough to get to go do. Um, uh, Manu's trying to tackle the guy, and there's a guy in front of him, and he goes low, and it looks like he's trying to make the tackle, but there's a guy that he winds up looking like he cuts. So uh, it's a really difficult situation for the defense to be uh, to be put in that um, have to be put in that format. So um, yeah, we'll be always be mindful of it.